give me a ticket and let me go, because it ain't nothing else you can do, bro. Say, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Can you turn off the car for me? Yeah. Say, can I can I give him a baby tap on the wrist? What's up? Oh no, I was asking about my, right. my baby tap on the wrist. No, What's you're up? good, you're good. My you're firearm? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it about? Um, step out of the car for me. You're I got you. Trouble. Don't, just don't reach for it, alright? Of course not. Is there any more? So I don't want no problem with you. Nah, this is the only gun that's in the car. Okay, alright. Just step out. And I have my passenger, do me a favor, put both your hands on the window just to keep the right there. Oh, it's in your pocket. Yeah, you grab right. it. Yeah, I'm gonna Here. grab it. Just turn around. Go ahead. Just yeah. Dump that stuff on the floor real quick. Which one? The stuff in your hands. Oh, the cameras and stuff. Hold yeah. up. Say, you my my bad boss. I'm a vlogger. I don't want no y'all to think no, it's no, nothing crazy. No, you good. No, you good, bro. Go ahead. Say, I just be vlogging the process because young people watch me. So. You good? It's live or you post it later? Nah, it's it's not live. I it's, post it later. That's it. That's all you got, right? Yeah. Everything else is like my keys and my cards and my. Oh, I got you. Just scoot over to your right real quick. Yeah. Do you mind if I change the angle of my camera? Yeah, just go into the car. Of course not. What's your name, boss? Officer Late. Officer Late? Late. Late? Nice to meet you. Hey, look, y'all. What I want to tell y'all about, like, being pulled over and stuff is, if you act how you're supposed to act and treat people like normal people and don't act like they villains or something, they just doing their job. I mean, usually, y'all, people treat you exactly how you want to be treated when you treat them how they want to be treated. I feel like when y'all act like officers and menaces and stuff, that's when they treat you differently. Like you say, you guys will be out of here real quick, all right? Cinema. Wait. The even worst part is we were five minutes around the corner from the house. Like we literally, like we literally went to the house, we realized we didn't have gas, we went to the gas station, and then we got pulled. Say they stripping it flow to bottom, y'all, but there ain't not a grain of rice in there, man. Say I don't ride around like that, y'all. Say to the trunk we go. But yeah, y'all, like I said, man, when you get pulled over by police and stuff, just act accordingly, bro. Act like you know what I'm saying, bro? They normal people. You see, I'm having a conversation and shit, bro. I feel like the average person, when y'all have interactions with police, I feel like y'all usually treat them like they're they're villains or some shit, bro. They doing their job. You know what I'm saying? Like, mind you, I ain't gonna say every police officer in the world is the coolest one, but I'm not gonna say every police officer is a menace that wanna lock you up and throw away your freedom either. So, at the end of the day, bro, you know what I'm saying? Just like, talk to them, you feel me? Just, bro, just, just, just be cool. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, say, we're almost done with the check, man. My brother is over here doing his thorough job. He done went all the way top to floor, bottom, back in and trunk. I done took my firearm from me and some more shit, man. But after this, y'all, we going home. And we just finna go chill because at this point, uh, yeah, man, you know, I just want to chill, lay my ass down. <laughs> hey, can y'all empty all your pockets? Yeah, yeah, I got the keys. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. That's it. Oh, yeah. Say, all I got is my drop leaf, keys, and cards, some equipment, and that's it. I'm going to go to the house. And, yeah, I don't think I got you. I know y'all just be doing y'all jobs. I ain't trying to give y'all a hard time. I'm going to have a seat, and I'll talk to you. Hi. show y'all this YouTube say say look at this just say I know we not lying with seven seven minutes away from the crib <laughs> he can't get a break <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah 
Oh, that boy was saying we live in Florida. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, I want to live in Florida. Thank you, sir. Y'all can sit in the car, chill out. I'm okay. gonna write it out. I just need you to sign when we're done with it. Ah. Uh, we can say, oh, brother. Hey, glad. Hey. You wanna know it's crazy, Lee? That was probably what my old shoe broke for. So I weigh something, bro. Nigga, I'm trying to get all this stuff you just threw all over the fucking place, up, nigga. Yeah, this is really close. Cool. You just fucking destroyed the whole oh, fucking God. car, nigga. Nah, who's bro. going to jail? I, I'm realistically twin. The way I was talking to them twin, I'm like, bro, they're not finna hoe his twin. Look, twin, look, twin, when he said it's a lie, twin, I was like, I was like, nah, but it's it's a lot of people watching you right now. And he was like, he was like, okay. Beyond that, bro, your reason for pulling me over is because I didn't use a turn signal turning out of a one way. What the fuck am I gonna use a turn signal turning out of a one way? Nigga, I only got one option. There ain't no other way to go, nigga. What do I need to tell you, nigga? You know what I'm doing. All right, y'all. Well, that's the end of the pulling over portion of this fucking video. Right, so we back into the vlog. I ain't gonna count. After a long night of going back and forth with 12 and getting pulled over and sitting outside talking to nigga for like 30 minutes while they checked the car for weed and giving us tickets and citations and shit. Yeah, y'all. Uh, I forgot to pick the vlog up when I got home. But I it's can't. a new day, which means we on some new shit. We're not worried about what happened yesterday. That's the one thing about living that's the one thing about waking up and opening up your eyes bro it's a new day try all over again and for you to progress and move forward where you was the day before and you can improve and fix what you fucked up on the day before moment you get to living in the moment moment you get to thinking about your flaws and where you fucking up at you 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 really like you lessen your success you hinder yourself from getting as far as you can because what i want y'all to understand is bro when you is really thinking about all your fuck ups and you really just sitting there thinking about all your issues bro you might miss your chance to change your life you might miss your chance to change your situation and thinking about where you fucking up at is not gonna help you make a solution think about a solution not the problem but yeah y'all it's a new day new play I like. what i want y'all to understand is when you open up your eyes that next day leave everything that happened the day before in the past man like you it is a new day y'all it, it's a whole completely new day a whole new 24 hours so that means you got a, a chance to do it all over again you got a chance to fix whatever you fucked up keep in mind y'all don't get stuck in your fuck ups, don't get stuck in the day before. Think about the future, keep moving ahead, and that's what's gonna get you farther in life, y'all. But yeah, man, I didn't vlog when I got home cause I was blow, but shit, bro, it's a whole new day. I'm not gonna let yesterday fuck up today. Today we finna go live life, have fun, and we finna do as much as we can today to make yesterday not exist no more. So we might get on a yacht, we might do some jet skis, we're gonna go get some good food, a whole bunch. It's gonna be a pretty eventful day. But yeah, y'all, hold on, I gotta show y'all something real quick. I woke up. Me and Quan, hey y'all, why the hell it's like a little baby lizard? This motherfucker got like a red little thing to be popping out under his neck. I think it's a skink or something. Y'all know I'm highly I educated. I know a lot about science. I know a lot about animals. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I think this is a skink. Y'all let me know in the comments if I'm wrong or not. I don't know exactly, but that's what it looked like, y'all. It looked like a skink or an anole. I think that's how you pronounce that. But look at little bruh. Show him your neck, little bruh. I don't want to get too close because you're going to run and shit because you're scary. Neck, bro. Show him what your neck do. Puff your neck hey. out. Yo. Yo, cuh. Yo, cuh, I'm trying to talk to you about car insurance. Yo, cuh, yo, cuh, my car insurance, cuh. Skin color oh, is fine. Like, even though he's not actually brown, he just blending in with the color of the table. I ain't gonna lie like that nigga ain't hard. Hold on, y'all, let's see if we can catch him. Don't run, bro, I just wanna catch you. And then you could barely get away. You wanna, look, y'all. I was a little kid, I done had snakes, I done had lizards. I done had geese, I done had dogs, I done had cats. Any animals so, that I won't fuck with. I done picked crabs up before y'all. Like, I done tried picking up or touching every animal that ain't venomous or poisonous. So, we gonna try to get little bruh. I gotta put the camera down. Give me one sec. Come here, bro. Don't run. Don't run. I know you gonna jump. Yeah. Jump. Jump onto my hand. Fuck! God damn it, y'all. Come here. Oh, no, no. Oh, 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 shit. Where you go? Go that nigga fast as fuck. What the fuck he did? Oh, I see him. Oh, fuck. stop! Don't go in the house, nigga. Wait, I got him. Oh, huh? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here. Oh, where he go? He right here. Hold on. Get up. No, he went in here. Come here. Oh, he right here. I got him. Okay, you back in the game, y'all. Come here. Oh no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. He went under this one, cuz. Come here, cuz. Come here, cuz. Hold on, I got to throw the towel on the point. Bad. Please. 
God. I think I'm lying. I think lizards do grow limbs back. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. I know a lot about animals, but I don't be keeping up with all the information because I ain't no fucking National Geographic yeah. Animal Planet. But I try to remember as much information as I can. But lately, I'm a businessman, an entrepreneur. Shit about animals don't even matter to me anymore. Unless I'm be a veterinarian or some shit. But we got a little bro, y'all. Lee! Lee! Hey Lee, can I talk to you about your car? You're saying a warranty? Hey Lee! Lee! Oh my bad, bro. I'm trying to talk to you about your car. You're saying a warranty, bro. Come, come here when you come out, bro. We got something for you. He chilling now, y'all. I think I got a new pet. Now, mind you, I won't be responsible for keeping up with a lizard, because I'd be down, you think I'm finna feed this motherfucker, uh, what they be eating, like crickets and all that little nasty. I ain't got time for that shit. Yeah. But we finna head out, though, y'all. We finna go uh, get on some motherfucking jet ski, go eat some food and shit. Because today, it ain't the last day in Miami, y'all. We got, like, another day tomorrow. But it's getting close to the last day, y'all, so it's time to get down, you feel me, go out with a bang and shit. So today, we're gonna go get drinks, we're gonna go eat, get on jet ski, we're gonna do a bunch of play and shit, man. Boy, that being said, we finna get dressed. I see y'all boys in a second, no cap. Hey y'all, we on the phone. My little he brother, this Saint say, what beer brick you want? What the? And they got the Brother, he's... where are you at? Where the hell are you at, twin? I ain't gonna lie, it's between that and that clear one. All right, y'all, so, uh, long story short, he let us book the jet skis, but when we called him, he told my son, even though I let you book it, we really don't take appointments after 5 o'clock. Basically so said we could come and get on the jet skis tomorrow at 2. So, jet key, I said jet key, jet skis is postponed for the day, y'all. Instead, we about to, uh, go to South Beach. I'm gonna show y'all Ocean Drive and, like, show y'all what, like, Miami really, really look like, for real, okay? And then after that, y'all, we gonna go to, I'm close as fuck, this nigga shit. But anyways. After yeah, that, you about to hit that nigga shit. You about to get, try to get out the car. I want to hit that nigga. But anyways, after that, y'all, we finna got down, uh, go to fucking, what you call it? Why the fuck is this backup camera dirty and shit, y'all? I fucking hate this car, bro. But anyways, after that, y'all, we finna go to uh, a restaurant, get some food and shit like that. But like I said, Ocean Drive is the first stop because I want to show y'all, like, feel me, what Miami Beach today takes us. But right now, y'all, we was at Petco. We passed by this bitch and seen they had an adoption center. So we finna go in here and go look at the much, y'all. Y'all ready? Hopefully they got uh, an exotic Frenchie pool in here. I might buy that bitch if it's eight hundred dollars. I do doubt it. it. Let's do it. Fuck these fuck got a store where you go get your nurse clothes uh, personalized and shit. I ain't no folks even be doing that shit. So we is walking on the inside of this Petco, y'all. Scrubs. I on God I ain't ask you. I know what the fuck a scrub is, nigga. You a scrub, bitch. Scrub ass nigga. Oh God. So let's see if we can find an exotic Frenchie pool in here, y'all. Hey, a parakeets and some more shit. So these folks having parakeets and rescue dogs in here, y'all. It's a guinea pig. I think it's a guinea pig. Oh yeah, it is a guinea pig, y'all. Look at this shit. What's up? It's a goddamn guinea pig. It's a guinea pig. Bro, them shits look funny as hell. Bro, this nigga two-tone. It's a lilac trimmer guinea pig, y'all. Whoa, that nigga's hairless. Nigga, it's a hairless guinea pig. What the fuck? What that nigga like Rufus. Rufus! What is that? I'm about to it alive. Twin, I've never seen a hairless guinea pig a day in my fucking life, bro. You heard me, Quan? I ain't never seen no hairless guinea pig. This nigga like Rufus off of uh, Kim Possible. I'm gonna turn this Nigga, they got, they got a two-tone goddamn guinea pig. They got a lilac trimmer guinea pig. These nigga got a hairless guinea pig in the back that look like Rufus and the albino. Where the fuck y'all get all these different breeds of guinea pigs from? I ain't never seen them in the guinea pigs a day in my life. Well, that, look, that, look that nigga like a dog. Mm -hmm. All of them look like <laughs> they just not Exotic Frenchy guinea pigs. Bro, all them motherfuckers just not getting their hair back. I'm gonna call my mama, bro. I'm gonna be like, mama, why the hell they got hairless guinea pigs in here? Mama, why the hell they got hairless guinea pigs in this pet store? Hairless guinea pigs. This nigga like Rufus off Kim Possible. Look at this shit. Bro, they got lilac trimmer guinea pigs, mama. <laughs> 
Bro, look at this shit, bro. They try more guinea pigs. That nigga multicolor, you see, he got white spots and brown. Look at the hairless one, mama. This nigga like Rufus. I ain't never seen no hairless guinea pig a day in my life, mom. That shit is crazy looking. Nah, the ones with the spots and shit, like the multicolored, I ain't never seen no damn lilac trimmer or guinea pig. Yeah, that's cute. I'm gonna screenshot this shit for dad. This shit is hilarious. This nigga probably wouldn't even believe me if I told him it was a hairless guinea pig in here. So, the hell? Yeah, that's all I want to show you. This shit is weird as hell. I ain't never seen this shit before. Good. But I got a ferret. Why he look like he dead, though? Why the, the ferrets got down? Knock the hell out. They're like they dead, man. I know they stinky. I know them niggas stink. But I'm gonna call you a little bit later. All right. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. These ferrets knock the hell out. I ain't never seen no albino ferrets before, though. What's up, guys? What's going on, Oscar? Stupid ass. Nah, bro. Y'all, then they got cheeks. Then they got BBL. Hey, cuz. Yo, y'all, this nigga got BBL. Hello, Rufus. Rufus. Boy, he like he bite the shit out of nigga with them two little teeth. What the hell them is, rats? Oh, no, it's more hamsters. All the other ones sleep. This little nigga active. Look, cuz, with the BBL. Rufus. Dumbass. Wake up. Hello. Get up. Tweet, tweet. Got got down bearded dragons in there, ho. Y'all, what the fuck, huh? Mike! 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 Mike, Mike! Mike, Mike! We, we, we came to the animal area. That bit got down empty as hell. That boy name is Logan. Uh, my name is Linda. You gonna get a grown mutt. Ew, why Nyla pregnant? And I ain't gonna be babies. You gonna get a grown mutt. Yeah, this bit pregnant. It's a pregnant mutt named Nyla. Yeah, this dog was born in 2017. Don't nobody want that motherfucker. Like, what the hell? <laughs> For, Old ass dog. 46 pounds. My name is Mike w Wazowski. Yeah, bro, y'all cook. This can was born in 20. <laughs> Nobody fucking wants you, your cook, gang. Like, what the hell? Jasper. Damn, look at this one, Lee. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga fabulous. That nigga is not fabulous. Mute, 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 just left him out of here. That's the one we seen while passes with the big ass eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh. And you, wanna, and you wanna look at dogs from Petco. <laughs> no, nigga. Bro, Lucky Charm, <laughs> Lucky Charm, Lucky Charms look like a real one. <laughs> y'all need to see these niggas at first. But these lizards look like goddamn rocks. What the hell? What the hell are you, cuz? Yo ass like a little dragon or something. What the fuck? Look at his eyes. Nah, that's crazy. Oh, they got a spider in his hole. <laughs> spider don't get no fuck. We got ball pythons. Nah, bro, the tarantulas is crazy, cuz. I ain't fucking with spiders, cuz. Mexican red rump. A Mexican giant red knee. <laughs> oh, fuck no, cuz. They got baby koi fish, y'all. What the hell? If I had a koi fish pond, I'd grab y'all ass. That white one hard as fuck. What the hell? It's crazy. Nemo, y'all. It's fucking Nemo. And it's a black Nemo. These nigga have an exotic clownfish, y'all. This shit is crazy. Look, Look at this nigga. Yo. Nigga pretty as shit, cuh. You just miss Dory. Where Dory go? Right there. It's Dory. <laughs> Dory, come back here. Finding Dory. Oh, that's that little mean ass nigga too. Hey, it's a shrimp. Twine, look, it's a shrimp to be cleaning people. What's up, bro? Come clean my finger. Uh, Dory wanna to try to go hide. Dory, why you hiding this shit? Where the hell Dory at? Dory. It's Dory. Hello, Dory. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, now we is driving past Biscayne Bay. If y'all wondering what y'all looking at to the right, these are some of the biggest cruise ships in the U.S. So long story short, like these are the cruise ships that take you to the Bermuda and all them different places. Usually the Royal Caribbean be out here, but they don't dock until nighttime. So these are like the other little cruise ships and shit. I don't really know the name of them, but yeah, man, these cruise ships is as big as a fucking mall, y'all. This shit bigger than Lennox in Atlanta. This shit crazy. Shit, bro, shit really bigger than like two, three malls put together, in all honesty. Say, so then look at, look, you got the, uh, what's the name of them niggas that be in the water patrolling and shit? Coastal Guard. Coastal Guard, you got little bitch ass Coastal Guards right there. You know, they ready to got down, go pick up some uh, contraband and niggas just dropping off pounds in Miami waters and shit. It's always got down fucking coke washing up ashore. Hey, look, man, to all the drug dealers and, uh, and to all the Pablo Escobars out there to be dropping their coke off in the middle of the goddamn uh, Miami water. They be finding that shit. And I know they don't be getting rid of that shit. I know they be selling that shit. 12 be out here up a mill. If he got come up out of bounds. This shit is so fire, bro. It smell like shit outside, though. That's one thing I don't like about this bridge. This bridge smell like shit water. Mmm, Coastal Guard is having a talk. The bitch ass. I got nothing but seagulls at this home. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We finna make a stop at the fucking Target on Ocean Drive because Lil' Casper finna buy some tank tops. We crossing over in the South Beach right now, y'all. This bitch. I ain't gonna lie. One day, my own me a penthouse right here off South Beach, Miami Strip. Now, mind you, I ain't gonna live in there like as my permanent home, but like I plan on also, I plan on owning multiple properties and multiple pieces of land when I get uh, my millions. You feel me? Because this year, by the end of the year, y'all, I'm gonna be a millionaire or a multi-millionaire. Mark my words. But like I said, when I get my multi-millions, one of my things to cross off my hit list is a Miami penthouse. I need an LA crib or an LA penthouse. I just want like penthouses or a crib in all the major cities. I need properties and you feel me land in all the major cities because one thing about me is I love traveling, but I also don't like the amount of money you spend when you travel and shit like that. So I would love just being able to have a spot or a vacation home in every major state and city. So when we go out, my family got somewhere to stay, I got somewhere to stay, shit like that. But Manifestation is a real thing, y'all. So mark my words. If I say I'ma do something, I'ma do it. So y'all hear me saying this shit right now. Give me like five, ten years. I bet I have over 20 investment properties. Or at least something like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all just stay down for the come up because as I go up, y'all go up. And one thing I can say is anything I ever told y'all I'ma do, I did it. I ain't never said some shit and not pulled through with my words. So keep that in mind. But yeah, man, we is on South Beach, y'all. We finna go to Target real quick, grab me some tank tops so I can take these shirts off. And then we finna hit the strip, go get something to eat. Shit, and just walk around smoke, find a vibe, y'all. And you feel me? I'm gonna show y'all some of the different sightseeing places you could go. I'm gonna show y'all some of the scenes from Scarface. Uh, y'all gonna get to see Ocean Drive. You gonna get to see the whole Miami strip. And shit, bro, one day, if you ain't been here, you'll be able to come here. But until then, y'all will get to see this shit from my perspective and through my eyes, man. But see y'all boys in a second. Hey y'all boys, so we is on South Beach, we is uh, going inside Target, Target, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I know everybody got a little different name for this bitch. Now the real question is, how the fuck do you get to Target? Because I don't remember, I think you got to walk up the stairs. It's either up or down. I ain't gonna lie y'all. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a Target down on level 2, so we got to go down y'all. But yeah man, we is on Miami Strip right now at Target. Finna go in here and grab me some tank tops. Then after we grab these tank tops y'all, we finna go get something to eat because... What they say, twin? Food the most important meal of the day, and we skipped breakfast, y'all. We skipped breakfast, y'all, so we gotta go, you feel me? Gotta go get something to eat. But, uh, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. South Beach is always a vibe, so if you bring your ass out here, make sure you take your ass to South Beach, see what it's talking about at least once. That's where all the goddamn historical events and all that little shit be recorded at. But we is going to Target right now, y'all. I'm gonna walk to the back, find me some shirts. So I guess I'll come back y'all boys in one second. Niggas said we done tried on, like, uh, Five, ten different tank tops, y'all. I done bust over like 20 packages. I tried a kid's small, a kid's medium, a kid's large. They ain't had no extra large. I can't fit kids no more, y'all. But I also can't fit grown ass men shit. I tried a large men, a medium men. I, and then we, I can fit a small though, y'all. So so next time, uh, if, I, if I'm trying to figure out what type of tank tops I'm looking for, I'm gonna come back to this blog and I'll remind myself I wear small and men. So, okay. But we got, you got but, your bag is open. But, we got the tank tops, y'all. I got one on. We finna pay for the motherfucking head out to the script. Go get something to eat. And then we finna walk smoking vibe on the block, man. So, see y'all boys in a second.
some music playing, so we finna make this shit quick. But we in the licking right now, y'all. We finna order something from DJ Cali uh, restaurant. So I'm gonna come back to y'all and sing on my music. All right, child boys, so we back into the vlog, man. We just left the lick and we is walking on the strip right now. Say, alleyways and shit on the strip, y'all. But um, we finna go to Ocean Drive and I'm gonna show y'all exactly where the different locations and little sightseeing places is. These people be talking about on their music, in their vlogs and all that good shit, so. Y'all boy, just stay tuned, man. Y'all finna see some fly shit. Like I was saying, man, we back into the vlog. We just left the licking. Uh, we was walking towards Ocean Drive so I could show out the different little sightseeing places and all the different little uh, tourist attractions and shit. And they'll basically give y'all a good observation of how it is to be in Miami just in case y'all ain't never been here or if you ain't been here in a little second, you feel me? Y'all to get to catch the Miami vibe with Le Casper, no cap. They said we out here, y'all. All right, child boys, so right now we're on Ocean Drive. No cap, no kids. They say, hey, y'all, if you ain't never been to uh, Miami, you ain't never been to Florida, this is exactly what the strip look like, y'all. The strip is just covered in lights and people. This bitch is never not jumping. Yeah. They do it. Slow up, bro. Huh? We finna walk to the other side of this strip, y'all, and then we finna walk around, catch a little vibe. C8 shitting on my shit, boy. Say, damn near made me want to go rap my bitch when I get back. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The C8 with the wing, it be shitting on my shit. Hey, y'all, Miami looking real crazy tonight. Now, mind you, it ain't as jumping as it be on spring break, but this bitch still jumping, though. Uh, so we in Ocean Drive, y'all know we gotta come back with some souvenirs, kiddo. So they, I'm finna grab these. Yeah. Hey, y'all had like Hancock. Oh, these them got down uh, construction worker glasses. Them cut the grab, motherfucker. To the vlog, I got my little Morpheus ad glasses on. It bit like uh, some shit off of, uh, what's that move called? The Matrix, y'all. I like a nigga off The Matrix. These bitches are hard, though. Why the hell everybody pop out CH, y'all? I ain't gonna lie, though. His CA got a closed up back one. You know, my shit clear. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that, y'all. I kind of like being able to see my engine. I don't know if I like the closed up back shit. I mean, it's cool, though. It make it look kind of more like a Ferrari or some shit, but like like I said, bro, I don't know how I feel about the closed up back on the back of this bitch. What is this, a Z06? It might be a Z06. It's not a Z06, y'all. So why the fuck is the back closed like that? So, I'm Leah. And I'm Kalia. And we're at South Beach, Miami. Yes, and we're just... We're just vibing, like. We vibing. We're just vibing. Just vibing with the L's is so crazy. <laughs> that was just crazy work, y'all. We just vibing. Hey, man. Say, the strip, I, I think I showed y'all just about everything you is. See, Ocean Drive, y'all got to see all the different little buildings and shit. Y'all see how lit the strip is, man. If you, if you can't see it, man, now you can. Y'all boys got to come check out Miami, though. On the strip on me. No cap. Say, that boy said he had drops of drip off. What you got for me, twin? Got what I got going on? Say no more. Say them boy got that shit on. But yeah, man. Say, y'all. They came and dropped drop my package off in hand, y'all. Y'all know I ain't gonna be in Miami too much longer. We finna go home tomorrow, y'all. So, they said my brother didn't bullshit, though. He said he pulled up. He pulled up, y'all. That boy pulled up 45 minutes dry. I know I gotta go down support this shit. Hey, let me get a video. You like opening it? Of course. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Say, ooh, 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 ooh. They say we having some shit in, y'all. Say, I'ma have to get down, open this bitch in a second, child. Give me one second, man. My brother got some shit for me, too, man. I appreciate y'all, boys. I promise y'all. Say, yeah. All right, we finna open this shit, man. Leap finna hold the camera. Give me one second. Hey, man. 
Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Zico Dog. We put up with my boy with Casper, bro. Hey, man, it been fresh out the pack. Y'all seen the paper fall on the ground. I ain't gonna lie. High quality. I think it's like, what? Twin with the GSM on this here? Shit crazy. Like, it, like it's thick, though. It feel good, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all, these boys pulled up all the way in the yams. 45 minute drive. Just to come drop this off before I go to Atlanta tomorrow. Y'all got to go shop, bro. Look Try at this shit. y'all. Three Z. Y'all tap in. Big ass print, front and back, man. I'm talking about some shit. I'm fucking with the campaign. Y'all need to go fuck with the campaign, too. If y'all want it, Bye. Thank you. Okay, so. right. I appreciate right, y'all, gang. Right, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, it ain't nobody. It's a I camera. Know, like, I know it's not, but you. Like, I don't know. She, not, hey, y'all. I'm not even photogenic. I'm still good. You don't like, care, right? I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't give a fuck, but it's just like. Uh, I'm not gonna put you in. You say I don't be in the shit. Fuck it. <laughs> She don't gotta be in it. Hey man. She don't wanna talk to y'all. Oh, she fuck, bro. And then she acting like y'all here right now. Like, I ain't, right, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like uh, she said, don't put me in the vlog. I don't want to be on the camera. Don't give me I like don't that. want to be on the camera. Don't give me like that. Why? Don't do her like that. Do you? Don't do her like that. Hey, get on some Baltimore train. <laughs> okay, tell them. Hot Doug. Hot Doug. Fuck you talking about. Fuck you talking about. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nigga said, oh, brother. <laughs> I fold Baltimore, that shit fine. On my, my, on my soul, on my soul. Hey y'all, these folks bought one of them little uh, Asian fans on the goddamn walk street today. What, hold, hold up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that nigga, man. Hey, I'm that nigga. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, hold up, hold up. A lighter? Yeah. You, you requesting a lot of shit, y'all. He came in here, he need a paper, now he need a lighter. You ain't got nothing to do it. <laughs> I'm all like lobbling. E. Point, point one. That's called a double hitter. A double, point two, god damn. Did you just ask us? Do you think you look smart? <laughs> D-registered that shit. I caught it, say it again. What you say? Intelligence. Intelligence. Care Care just shut the whole thing down. Where right. you from, where you from? Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore, okay now say sausage. 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 Say, what was the other word, Lee? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Alright. Play Bluetooth. Bluetooth, YouTube. But like, that shit is crazy because it's gonna be a bunch of Baltimore motherfuckers in the comments talking about something. Gang, chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs> say say not say chill, hi dog. Hot dog. Chill. Hot, hot dog. Why is it a dog though? Alright, chill. I just wanna know why is it a dog? I don't know, that's how we say it. Dug. Hot dog. Hot dog. I mean I don't, I don't Why is like the O pronounced a U though? I don't even know. Like it, it's so given like UK. Hot dogs. It's given like um UK. British. British. The hot dog, I'm just used. I'm used to the way I talk, though. She said she eat a hot dog. Y'all just sound country as fuck to me, like. For sure, you're right. And do you know? I I never really heard it in you, but since you're like around people that talk like you, I hear it more. Like it's it's people, out there. People like, up north say I sound like I'm no from mind. down south. People from down south yes. sound like I sound from up north. Right, like that's middle. weird. I'm like middle. I'm like neutral. I'm an ally. <laughs> ally is I'm in the middle. <laughs> so I'm neutral. I'm in the middle. I'm like an ally. What? I don't feel like I sound that bad though. You definitely got the accent. Yeah, your accent. Yeah, shit. My youth. Yeah, you My goddamn youth. <laughs> so give your best Baltimore accent. Hell nah. You're like, hey, Dami. Can you go give me store? Oh, no, nah, that, that, that a Dami shit is so funny. Hey, Dami. Hey, Dami. That's how they would talk. Hey, Dami. 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 Like your nigga, that nigga JB Avenue. talking like that. That nigga be having me uh, weak. Avenue, Avenue. 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 Hey, Dami. <laughs> you know, that's really a hood, though. The Avenue really a hood. Bro, that nigga, it's, it's really like a hood. If you ever get on the phone, that nigga J, it's, bro, that shit know. is hilarious. That nigga talk, bro, that shit is funny. I was like, okay. bro, it's just funny. Every time I hear that shit, I be like, say something else. <laughs> say something else. Say me. <laughs> say wall. 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 Say car. Say car. Cool. 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 Say laptop. Laptop. What? Laptop. Oh, that was actually pretty decent. I'm gonna laptop. use. I'm gonna use that. Cool. Okay. I think it's words past like five letters where they get like fucking shit up. You gotta shit. get the, the E's and the I's. And say shit. Papa John's. Papa John's. 
Papa. I told you, twin, it's past five letters. Like, it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> we just hit running into Hell each no. other. So, like, do y'all, like, blend words? Why does it come off Basically. Like basically. Yeah, kind of. Say New York. New York. They blend that shit. New York. New York. Say Brooklyn. Brooklyn. It's only we certain Brooklyn, letters. It's only, but we got a Brooklyn, though. It's only Brooklyn. certain letters yeah. they pronounce like that, though, bro. What the hell? That shit we got a Brooklyn. All right, so we back to the vlog, man. I ain't gonna lie, they done convinced uh, niggas to put their ass in this cold ass pool at like what time it is, Leek? I think it's like two, three in the morning, bro. Should be one in the morning at least. No, right now. It's early. You trim. It's early. <laughs> you come through trim. It's early. See, see, she got some right. common sense. You see, she ain't got nothing but a feed in it, bitch. Y'all had trim. Got $50 in the line. Jump right now. I we come from. Come you a bluffing ass nigga. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> But we come from you the bluffing ass nigga right well, now. I mean, well, Somebody used to be a mermaid. <laughs> is is that right, bro? For sure, get right on. <laughs> Lily, you finna call Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that shit cold as fuck, bro. I, it ain't. Alright, I'm finna butt with you then. Come on. Child. Oh, oh, this nigga fast as fuck. Hey, y'all, cuz ass in the neighbor's backyard. Oh, look at his ass. He right there, twin. This nigga is fast as shit. Look how he looking. Well, yeah. That nigga neck is crazy. Let me see. This nigga is fast as fuck, y'all. This... Oh, oh, where he going? Where he just go? Oh. All right, child, so we finna leave the Airbnb, man. It's been a fun three, four, five days, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, man. We finna go get on some jet skis, go eat some good food and shit, and then we finna get on our way back to Atlanta because, you know, gotta handle business in my own city. They say this shit crazy, though, y'all. One day, give me, like, six months, y'all. I'm gonna own some shit like this. I promise y'all. It's, it's gonna be a house just for me and my family to go to on vacation and shit. Watch what I tell y'all, but... Man, I appreciate experiences like this because coming to these different places, uh, going to stay in stuff that you can't afford yet or necessarily uh, you can't buy it. You know what I'm saying? It just always gives you that motivation and makes you go a little bit harder. Like, yeah, I stay in a penthouse, but a penthouse is one thing. Imagine having a six, seven bedroom crib where all of your friends could come kick it, play pool, swim, enjoy the vibes, and just be in the sun and kicking and shit. So what I want to tell y'all boys is... Uh, don't get too caught up on materialistic shit, man. Realize that buying experiences and showing yourself shit that you ain't seen before and just really stepping outside your comfort zone or leaving your hometown, will really, it'll really give you appreciation of life and make you look at things a little bit differently. Like, when I was so confined to Atlanta and I didn't know nothing else, bro, you would think that Atlanta is the whole entire world. You know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll think that there's nothing else to offer in the world. Like, man, people are different in every state. Females are different in every state. The vibes are different. The smells are different. The air is different. The way the sky rise, sunset, all that shit looks different. So experience life, bro. Don't box yourself in and confine yourself to your hometown or feel like you, you feel me? Feel like you you too big for this shit, bro. Get on an airplane. Go catch flights. Go to hotels. Book Airbnbs. Go places with your friends because their memory is going to stick longer. But on some real shit, y'all, niggas say, I enjoy my little three, four days in this bitch on my birthday. And all I can tell y'all folks is like, shit, man. Give me six months. We ain't gonna be in this bitch Airbnb and we're gonna be in this bitch living because this shit gonna be mine. Not for real. But we finna head out. We finna go and uh we finna go eat. And then after we eat, we're gonna go get on these jet skis. So I see y'all boys when we get to the next destination. Okay. No Child, we on the back street in the Yammies right now. Uh, we is like 28 minutes from the location of the dock so we can go to the jet skis, but we're also like 40 minutes early. I did that on purpose because we ain't ate breakfast yet, so that's one of the things we finna do before we go get on the jet ski. We're gonna go find some quick breakfast in the area. But y'all check out the graffiti on this building, y'all. This shit hard as hell. I'm running this yellow light. But anyway, this shit hard as hell, y'all. Look at this shit. Nigga say graffiti central. I ain't gonna lie, whoever the fuck did this shit, but this nigga is a very skilled graffiti artist, nigga. This shit is hard. I want some shit like this in my house. Then they pull up right over there. Oh god, like nigga, I would take pictures, twin. This shit is hard. These niggas snapped. Nah, bro, these niggas snapped, twin. This shit is hard. 
I'm damn near finna take pictures for my thumb. How about I take pictures for my thumb? Yeah, bro. Nigga need pictures for the thummy wummy, y'all. Oh, God. So, yeah, y'all. We like a couple minutes away from the goddamn jet skis and shit. We just stopped to take some pictures. This graffiti is so hard, though, y'all. Like, shit, Trump. I'm talking about, man, you got, you got the alleyways back here. You got Uncle on the goddamn bike and shit. We tried to get his ass in the blog. That nigga thought we was trying to rob him or something. His ass kept going. That boy said, hell no. Nah. But yeah, y'all, we finna get the fuck on, man. We finna get down. Go find something to eat real quick while we got a little chance. So, see y'all boys in a second. Cat dog, leave. Yo. What is that? Leave. No, get it on camera, bro. Stop bullshitting. Get it on camera. He scared, bro. Like, yeah, record that bitch. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to secure this fucking money, bro. You be got a real like cat dog, y'all. Hold up, look at that bit. That be like a cat and a dog put together. It's a, like a, it's like a Frenchy shit, a Frenchy poo. Where is it? Look at that cat dog, y'all. The girl gonna think I'm recording her. I'm not standing your little flat bodied ass. I'm trying, to get... bro. She do not want to put that bit. Come here, cause yo. It walked like the frog dog off TikTok. It's Frodo. So we is at the strip, man. We just parked the car and shit like that. We finna go down. So we're gonna trim down the strip. God damn, bud. Well, anyways, we just finna go uh, get something to eat and shit like that. Cause we got about like a cool 30 minutes for it's time to get on the skis. And we gotta find somewhere to buy some shorts real quick. So we finna try to do all of that in like the next, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Say, oh, I know what we didn't do. Mark location for the whip. Yeah, mark this shit. I remember this. Finna send this shit a little leak of Send my current location. Send this shit to coin that too. Y'all gotta mark them location for them cars, y'all. You be done left your car somewhere in Miami and not, next thing you know, you cannot find that bitch. Hold up. Hey, we need to make sure it ain't no shit. We need to register the car or no shit. I ain't even check this shit. And he said, hey, look, Lee, we be like, we be like, hey, man, that bitch not even there no more. Nigga act gonna be sick as hell, boy. Hold on, y'all. We gotta go make sure the car and shit rich. Hey, man, they say we are going to find us a little food spot to eat at real quick. They say this shit a two-minute walk up the street. I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. Legitimately, I think we going the wrong way of this shit, but we finna find it, though. It's all good. Bike. This shit think I'm I'm on a fucking, what you call it, bro? I think I'm in a car. I'm trying to walk. I'm on the bike on your ass. Realistically, you gonna waste your time because, nigga, we gotta go get on that. We gotta go get on jet skis at two o'clock, and it's one twenty nine. You ain't got to the jet ski place. You ain't got no time to do nothing but eat, cuz. He talking about we gonna bite. You think you gonna let me eat without a shirt? What you mean? Yeah, nigga. No shoes, no shirt, no shirt. Are you? Where do you think you're at, bro? Nigga, nigga talking about something. They gonna let me eat without no shirt. I'm fairly certain like half of these niggas be in that bitch shirtless, tanned up, covered in oil and freaky shit. Like, it's a, it's a norm out here, bro. <laughs> All right, child. So we come into a place called Primo Cafe. It's kind of like a little bodega. We didn't have time to go to a real restaurant because it's only 30 minutes till we got to get on the jet skis and we don't want to miss our chance and we don't want to have to wait too long for the food. So I'm gonna go in here, order something real quick. I'll get back to y'all boy when I get something. We got some support in the yams, y'all. What they say, twin? What's your Instagram here? Y'all tell them. Twin had to thank that bitch all the way through, y'all. Hey, nah, good looking, my brother. I love you. Y'all. But yeah, man, we is out here in the yams ski. We finna got down and get me some little shit from that bodega to eat, drink, shit like that. And then we finna head out to the jet skis. But yeah, y'all, boy, give me one second. I'll update y'all when I figure out what I want. The bodega, then they quan got a case of deal. Then they quan case of deal. Look freaky as fuck, y'all. What the hell it is? Pimento cheese? So a motherfucker smacking, though. 
Oh God. What the hell you got, Leak? What, what, what you get, Leak? BLT. That boy Leek go BLT, y'all. And then La Casper go uh, Caesar Salad, motherfucker, man. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We on, we going out with a bang today, y'all. See, we got the orange juice and the motherfucking. If you know, you know. But we finna got down, go get on these jet skis and shit. We finna hurry up and eat and drink while we got like hey, a cool bro, little man. five minutes. So, see y'all boys in a second, man. Hey, nah, oh, 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 oh. Leek, you fucking up, bro. I'm finna beat you up, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> These niggas getting too comfortable, bro. Where the albino one just come? Bro, look at this nigga. Whoa! <laughs> Chill, cuz. <'cause. laughs> Get the fuck back. Bro. Oh. Ah. Oh. Bro, you done started up a session, nigga. What the fuck, bro? Leave it to a nigga. Get y'all ugly ass off. Get the fuck back. Nigga. <laughs> that nigga leave that hit that nigga with the paper. <laughs> we from Atlanta, bro. We don't play with pigeons and shit. We hit with y'all last. Y'all has to get fucked up at this bitch. I stomp one of y'all next to the curb. Bro, they deep in hell, bro. They on gang timing. Oh, God. <laughs> bro, they just pulled up on bro five deep. Bro, nah, they coming over here to when they, they trying to come through the back. Y'all niggas ain't slap. I slap the fuck out your stupid ass. What, nigga? Slap one of y'all ass in the head if I knew y'all ain't carry diseases. I'm pistol with one of y'all ass. Oh shit. Hell nah, get y'all ass back then. Alright, y'all, so we is inside CBS right now. We gotta grab these shorts. Then we finna get inside this black truck and go to the docking station so we could get on the jet skis, y'all. Um I ain't gonna lie to you, we might as well buy a towel. We might as well buy a towel too, shout. You heard me? We might as well buy a towel too, shout. I got the towel to match the, match the lock. Towel to match them on. Drip. Yup. So we got, I got to grab me a pair of shorts and then we got this bitch. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Right. My mom, they got a smile? Or they got a smaller size? They probably hit a smaller oh. size. Is this small? What is this? Should be a small. What is it? A small? Uh, yeah. It don't say? Oh, it is small. Let's do it. Say. Let's do it, y'all. Say, so we got this bitch. We got towel. We got the motherfucking shorts. Time to go uh, buy these hoes and then get in the black truck, no cap. Say so we are hopping inside the black truck, y'all. We just finna go to the docking station for these goddamn jet skis. How you doing? They say it's been uh, it's been an eventful afternoon, y'all. Egg lad. On some crazy shit, y'all. Why the fuck I dropped the shit out there most inside this CBS okay. we were just in? Fuck out there, I'm talking about nigga, that bit hit the flow, turned to nothing. <laughs> That bit, that bit instantly saturated the fuck out the ground. <laughs> Let me wipe my lens off. I can't tell if my lens dirty or if these glasses dirty, y'all. What the hell? That was the glasses. It wasn't the lens. So yeah, man. Uh, I'm finna swap into my goddamn shorts. Get back to y'all boys in a second. So these niggas up blue the goddamn hotel up, y'all. They're gonna tuck down half of that bitch. That was super cool. Now that's crazy yeah, business. Like the whole half of the hotel being blown the fuck away is crazy. Mm -hmm. Then the other half is just, you know, right there, still standing and shit. <laughs> still, still there. Yeah, but... yeah. nah, but... So right now, y'all, we is waiting on the uh, niggas with the jet skis and shit. These niggas is bullshitting the fuck out of us, though, y'all. They said, uh, they said we probably push up at 2. We came at 2. They pushed it back to 2.30. Now we here at 2.30 and these niggas ass, they answering the phone and shit. Talking about we finna call the office and all type of shit. Worst come to worst, it's 2.00. Worst come to worst, if these niggas don't answer by like 3, 3, 10, we finna go to this other one, book it for 5 o'clock, go find something to do until 5, and then, yeah, we just gonna do it like that. We getting on jet skis, dude. I don't give a fuck what. I don't give a fuck what do you need to like? Say, we got to. But, uh, is that Jordan Bond Strangle? Yeah. That nigga Lee was talking about Jordan Bond Strangle ran past us earlier, y'all. That nigga like, he finna have a damn stroke. It's hot as fuck outside. Don't you red as shit. Sweating up a storm. I ain't gonna lie, I'm all for the cardio shit. I'm all for the uh, treat your body well and, you know, work out and all that shit. But in reality, I'm not killing myself, bro. Y'all niggas be out here in 90 degree weather finna have a stroke as an old ass man. Twin, take your ass to the gym, take you some water, you know. You gotta run down Miami Strip, gang. Yeah, it's not it's not GTA, this ain't a movie. Controlled environment. <laughs> the fuck, man? Controlled environment. But yeah, y'all. This shit ridiculous. So we'll come out to y'all and we figure out what the fuck we finna do, because right now niggas just walking. They say, man. 
We got bullshit about other ski people, y'all. They done stole the deposit from me with their broke ass, but it's all good. It won number $40. I hope y'all enjoy that crumb ass niggas. I'll be disputing Thank it with you. my bank, and they be taking out your bank account. So you'll be somewhere eating with your hoe, and then that $40 gonna disappear. Anyways, though, um, we is at a different location right now from the book. The ski rentals, y'all, they $200. It's the same price, you feel me? We get two hours, and yeah, they say we ain't gonna be able to get in until 5 o'clock. So that being said, we're gonna have to spend an extra three hours in Florida just to ride jet skis. But that was the whole point of us staying here an extra day was to ride jet skis. So I refuse to leave without doing it. Um, I guess in the meantime, while we waiting for 5 o'clock to get here, we're gonna go get something to eat, walk around, smoke, shit like that. But, yeah, y'all, boys, stay tuned. I'll see y'all in the we just met buddy on the strip, y'all. I've been telling y'all about this whole yeah. little networking situation. Now, mind you, if a nigga give you wrong energy, you feel like a weirdo, tell that nigga to fuck around you. But Brad's approached me on some calm shit. You guys chop it up. But look, man, tell him where you from. I'm from Brooklyn. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. For a person that ain't been from Brooklyn before, like, what's mm -hmm. the best part about Brooklyn? Don't know nobody out there. You say fuck. They go, they grind me out there. I'm not gonna He's not lying. Nah, nah, you go to the I even know all good. You just walk out the block. Someone see you like, oh, you die. You think you think you got that? But I even take your ass over there. They, 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 oh, I got that. Yeah. If you got a shiesty one, you don't got that. He, he said, if you got a shiesty one, you don't that. got that. But he not going to give it to you. Hell no, nah, he going to take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but no, nah, okay, so then look. Uh, tell him, like, what you want to be when you get older, shit like that. Take care. What you want to do in six months, then what you want to do in six months? I'm trying to become an entrepreneur. Okay. Do my shit. Run my own business. Yeah. So I'm going to probably open up a dispensary. It's all around shit. I got to connect to that. So you guys got all that. I'm just going to try to put it together. I'm gonna sprinkle, bro. It's a bad yeah. name on sprinkles right uh, now, bro. Yeah, I know what you mean. All sprayed up weed and shit. Yeah. yeah I haven't been smoking it like that, but I'm back in the so time. I've been smoking it. I'm smoking gumbo. Gumbo? Gumbo. Gumbo, gumbo, gumbo ain't really got it. Yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong cool. with gumbo. gumbo but I ain't gonna lie. Smoking. They say the sprinks is fucked, y'all. If y'all ass stay in New York, that. you smoking sprinks. They say y'all ass is smoking cancer pads. Yo, bro. That shit crazy. He said that shit crazy. bro. My man got sick off smoking some sprinkles. I heard that shit be fucking niggas up. Hey, now, like I said, though, y'all. Don't be scared to network, talk to people. You never know who you talk to. Bro might be the next biggest rapper, next biggest dispensary owner. You don't fucking know. know but yeah, I tune in with y'all boys. We'll be on the jet ski. See y'all in a second. So, we were at an undisclosed location. It says no trespassing. It's a hotel, but the door was open, so we're here. Let's go. Don't get in my camera view. <laughs> what? Outside the building, you know what I mean? I'm going to charge you out, boys. Ew, why is there so many fucking dragonflies? What the hell? Oh, my goodness. Casper's taking some of the hunts. Channel or something? Hell yeah. That's right. What's the, what's the channel? It's who, like, who is this person, and then Casper, like, the ghost. Who Casper? Oh, Casper? Okay. Yep. Oh, Thank you, bro. Yeah. Have a nice one, man. Thank you. Yeah, do it. Man, fuck, oh, homie. He can't find no blood, cut. Man, man, that nigga thought we were trying to break in that bitch, gang. I seen the key in your hand, goof ass nigga. You gonna ask me if I have a key? You know I don't have a key.
You didn't know for real, okay? I could have had a key. Bitch, had it. Oh, yeah. It's up. Over. What'd they say, Lee? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Do it again, bro. Back on the beach, we just finna get in the water, y'all. I can't bring my camera with me, but it's all good because they're gonna get uh, some drone footage and shit like that, and we're gonna see if we could get them to record me, like pulling off and all that good shit. If they can't, just enjoy the drone footage, man, and just know shit. Try jet skis, bro. That shit's fun, bro. It's like if you ever been on ATVs or if you haven't been on ATVs, it's just an experience, bro. You gotta try it, you feel me? So look at this shit, though, y'all. They say, say water look dumb pretty. That shit crazy. Ain't never, nigga. But basically right now we waiting on the other people that y'all see in the distance on the jet skis to come back and then once they come back it's gonna be our turn to go. But yeah y'all say everybody suited up and ready to go. Everybody leap. And now Kwan, everybody got their shit on man. Say all the boy got a jet ski. We ain't doing no uh riding on each other jet ski, holding each other back. Everybody got their own individual shit. No mind for that. If you go with your partner, I ain't saying if you okay, so look. If you can't afford to get your own individual jet skis, that's one thing. But if you just a scary ass nigga talking about, I want to ride on my pot in the back and, and ride his jet. Twin, grow the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? But anyways, y'all, yeah, man, we all got our own little jet skis and shit. <laughs> grow the fuck up. We finna ride out. So with that being said, I guess I'll see y'all boys in the water. No cap. Child. So we is finally off the jet ski, man. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was fun. Uh, I got some video footage on the drone. I'm gonna show y'all the video of me on the jet ski and shit. But the sun is setting, man. It is time to go back to Atlanta. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This shit was a very enjoyable trip. What I want to tell y'all before I end this vlog is, man, create enjoyable memories, bro. It, it's cool to take your partners to the mall, go shopping and got down shit like that. But that material shit don't last, bro. I was just some of my partners in the yams, man. We just got on the jet skis and shit. That shit was fun, bro. That's some shit I'd be able to tell my grandkids about. We went to the yams and lived like little baby and went flying on jet skis, got down 100 miles per hour through the water and watched the sunset. Like, a lot of people can't say shit like that. So, in reality... What I want y'all folks to understand is, bro, life is about building experiences and having uh, memories and shit. Things that you can look back on that ain't really attached to something. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, boom. Yeah, man, you might have a memory with your best piece of jewelry, but you could lose that shit. It get old. Uh, it loses value. Shit, bro, these memories I build my partners, bro, the only way they lose value is if I fall out with these niggas. And these niggas I'm going to be cool with till the day I leave this earth. So with that being said, bro, these memories I could carry with me. Shit I could tell my kids about. Shit I could teach people around me about. So what I want y'all to take from this vlog is live life. Enjoy life. Step outside your comfort zone. Leave your home. Don't get cooped up inside your hometown and think that your city is all the world got to offer, bro. Go to different countries, different places, different states, and enjoy life, bro, and expand your mind. Because the moment you step outside your house, you'll start realizing the world is way bigger than what you think it is. And it'll all start, start, it'll start giving you a realization that you're way smaller than you think you are. A lot of people be asking me, like, how are you so humble? How are you so this, that, and the third? It's because I realize in this world, bro, I'm nothing but a grain of rice when you think about how big things are, bro. And everything is about perspective. Now, mind you, if somebody that looks at me like a big person or a notable figure, but... In reality, bro, on skin, bones, and shit, just like everybody else, which is why I never treat y'all differently. I always treat y'all the same, and I take y'all everywhere with me and teach y'all all the shit I teach y'all, because I want y'all to realize, bro, it's more to life than this material shit. It's more to life than this internet shit. And the shit they need to show you on internet is the real shit, not the fake shit, not the shit they want you to see, the shit you need to see. But that's why I'm going to be here, because it ain't a lot of people that's going to show you what you need to see. It's just a lot of people that's going to show you what you want to see, and that ain't real. I love y'all, boys. 
We're on the road to 100k subs and we only getting closer. I gotta keep thanking y'all for 50k because that shit just happened like two videos and it's just crazy how quick that shit came. I was stuck at 10k for the longest, thought it'd never go up. Lord knows the ghost family on the grind, we only getting bigger and one thing I can say is I appreciate y'all boys. Y'all folks sub if y'all ain't subbed already so y'all could join this journey and see all of the videos and all the stuff that's to come. And to the stuff that we already been through, I appreciate y'all for staying alone this ride with me, man. And what I want to tell y'all is I love y'all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And look, Casper, see the ghost family in the next day in the life of Casper. I'ma show you nigga how to buy, you nigga how to play.